Secret versus Evil Geniuses. Hot favourites going up against the team that have just knocked on everybody's door so far here in Moscow. Let's check it out though as we dive into game one of our first semi-final here in Moscow. I suppose uh, the other thing to look at is the amplification. Like, What else is he actually able to work with? The rest of his team mainly uses physical damage. Other than Ember, I think that's the one guy that he can make a lot of good things oh, on. Now they catch the Skyrath Mage. Ember Spear is just farming up, living armor, Odin and Prisma, but here comes your TP. Is Tree on the way? Lee will give a little bit of extra life. Will it be enough? The Absol won't make it back to the tower in time. Evil Genius is still first blood. Zai hiding inside the sandstorm will be able to survive as well. A lot of rotations, and the kill still goes the way of EG. And Sumail's the one to get the, the kill as well, so first blood going to the enemy mid. They're still going to look later on to have MP really hit like a truck. Kezu trouble, the double slow coming up from both upheaval and the cold arrows of Arteezy. He went for a 2 0 2, so there's no silence, but Zai, a bar strike, catching out Kezu and Yapso. They still can't get outside this bloody upheaval. Yapso has no point up in the silence, so Crit can just stand his ground, keep the silence going. They turn the shadow word onto Yapso. He seals up on Zai, but Zai doesn't have the matter for a fire strike, it won't matter. Ateezy has the damage. Three kills to zero in Team Secret. And he maybe could have used it to instantly remove the upheaval, but mid lane, he held it. They're going on top of some mail. They got the lead seed out. Mid one, searing chains. Actually missing the chains, but it won't matter when MP arrives. He goes up through the tree line so he can get around the back near to Ateezy. In fact, Ateezy walks into MP. It's like he didn't know that MP was moving all the way down. They just have to move forward. The double guts at least stops the slow from Yapsaw, but cannot make it back to the tier one tower. Rotations are good, and Kezu will claim the kill on bottom lane. Getting out of range. Uh, Skyrath Mage is a very fast hero. He's got boots up. Going to be building towards the Veil. I actually like the build a lot, especially... Well, I guess this makes Ember not having to buy one. Oh, Bristol's um. got to get out of here. Like, upheaval, Kezu, he's actually, oh, he's got three warp pass stacks, the movement speed will allow him to get to the left, here comes the mail, however, double damage rune, actually, it looks like it, on the OD, but they just hit like a truck, Brussels will fall, didn't have a lot of life, Puppy setting up, Yapsol's gonna come over, they didn't actually have the detection, the seal from Yapsol didn't come in time, and now Puppy reveals, having to commit the overgrowth, they drop down the Mystic Flare with a force up from Samael, pushes him out of range of it, Brussels back, silence for the moment, couple of sick charges there, but not really a lot to work with, and Puppy still revealed by the dust, will be brought down, this all comes down from Ichi, pushing the issue on the bottom lane towards the tower, and well, Kezu trapped up, can they actually break him free of this, Sick charge is being committed, but Kezu doesn't have enough life, Samael will have a double, a double kill, and MP has no influence. They're going to lose kill opportunities, and EG might just roll over them with better farm. Now. But now you have the Vladimir's offering up on, up on the uh, Phantom Assassin. She's going to be initiated on. Ooh, no and, uh, well, she's standing her ground for the moment. Maybe look for a couple of crits onto Universe. Jumping forward, attacking in. The rock from Crit will have to be committed. A new creep wave's on its way, but MP doesn't have enough life to get back to it. So Crit will find the kill with a punch from the Warlock Golem. They've got a good, good position on him. Spirit jump forward. No, he Hurricane Pikes down. Mid one still oh, wants to commit, dodge. but he actually Astral imprisons. Mid one can't control him. Simeo is just outplaying him. Now Universe and Crit. The rear with Arteezy holding the high ground as a three man coil. They try and make space with the overgrowth, but Zai preps the epicenter. The damage will be too much for Secret to repel. Mid one will fall. MP as well as Kezu are on the run, but the orbs keep flying into that bristle pack. They'll fight underneath the shrine, but do they have enough? They're actually having to run away from their own shrine regeneration. Puppy scouted out for a quick moment. They might go back in though. Yeah, proves up in six seconds. He hasn't used his ultimate yet. And you can just go straight in. Bar a strike on top of Kezu. You've got a lead scene. Kezu trying to get close enough to that so he can leech a little bit more life. MP jumping in. The damage. Looking for it on Arteezy. The Mystic Flare. Zai will cop most of that, but he's not dead yet. The orb attacks from Kezu or from Rapsu on the back line. He'll get himself a double kill. Chris pretty low too. Yapsaw will claim him. It'll be a triple kill for Yapsaw. Now it's up to the big one. It's the male. They need more help. Mid one will arrive. MP with the crit. It's MP that will take it, ending a huge spree, and evil geniuses, they'll lose everyone but Harteezy. Uh, Do you actually like his choice as well, moving in for something like a Rod of Atos? Like oh, who, yeah. who was that meant to be for? I, I, I know you subscribe to the Book of Fog where Atos is fantastic. Rod of Atos is literally made for Skyrath Mage. It is so good. It's a root, it prevents them from moving. Uh, I believe you can't use Phase Shift now as well, so it's, it's perfect. If there's a Force Staff, it still counters it, but against some of these more mobile heroes, Atos is amazing. Three men smoke up, they're coming for mid one. There's your silence and dream call with the gust. I'll drop the rock. Mid one needs something to jump out to. He won't have it, however. Yapsol is on the way. They actually had both MP and Yapsol fairly close to him, but EG commit everything. Every ulti is up. 
and it's just a good choice. Oh, they found an opening. They found Puppy in the back lines. He can't overgrowth. He got silence. He was trying to, to create a little bit more space. Needs to go in this. Do they actually have enough overgrowth? Here comes your imprisonment. That should be enough damage. He's living armor is regenerating him up to 180. Okay, that's one way to ensure it. You throw out the orb, that MP's gone back inside the pit. Right. That's really tough for him. Yep, so getting a double kill on the back line, forcing EG back and forward. And Yaps are surviving with the Magic Wand and finally a silence to guarantee Sumail's death. It was a great TP by him. Well, we're back to the world of living right now, Team Secret. Engaging in, we already lost the SK mid one. Out to pick up a double kill is actually MP who claims it. And with this, with the Vlads, with so many players from Evil Genius's town, the all flies in. Mid one's actually TPing out, oh, but it's him. Puppy. He finds Sumail, the Observed Ward, up on top of the shrine. They're imprisoning over only over the illusion for the Mystic Flare. Artizi will fall, they jump in deeper. Oh, deep! Sumail has one more swing. In fact, mid one will take it. The Ember Spirit Flame Guard burning him down while the Veil was buffing it up. If they can get the combination right. Like that's, that's the big thing as well. Like Fighting inside your base looks really scary. Like Team Seeker going into the EG base looks really scary just because of the big AoE combinations that EG is capable of pumping out. Now they jump in and you can't get the combination when you're losing your backliners. Crit wants to drop the rock but not on a BKB target. He'll only stun up over on mid one and Puppy coming in. Overgrowth is ready. It actually goes off. OD can't run away. Rooted to the ground. Epicenter has done some work. What the triple barrel. Burrow strike working from Zai. Hiding in the sandstorm. Puppy will finally go down. Some mail. Done so much work. Being pushed around the back line. In his own way, Kezu ready to fight with MP. MP jumping in deeper. Kezu needs to create some space. Arteezy backing up for the moment. MP almost down. Will go down. They want to go for more. Zai's hanging around. Barra strikes off cooldown right now. He can slot Kezu. Samael, there goes your Hurricane Pike. Easy kill onto Kezu. And evil geniuses. It looks bad when the rock only stunned on mid one, but. Samael yeah. had so much space and so much smarts during that fight. Yeah, it looked like such a bad fight for them. They, they lost the Warlock, all he got off was the Golem, but the annoyance that he tried to, to put forth there on the episode. I would maybe like to see him go something like Tranquils, get some extra movement speed, but... Mid one, blink in, searing chains, they're gonna four star for him up. They got another four star in the hands of Zai, but Samael stands his ground. Rod of Atos is flying four, but he can dodge both with that defensive imprisonment. Quits in the neighborhood, Mystic Flare, Samael just bleeds right out, and Zai, the epicenter, combining up with the Rock of the Bonds. You got nowhere to go, but Town. Two heroes lost, you're definitely gonna make it three. Kazu cannot run out of our people and cold arrows. What a fight by EG there. I, I'm very surprised Sumail was able to get a blink dagger out considering the uh, the, the ulti damage from Skyrath Major must not have hit him, but he gets out in the perfect epicenter bro strike that even stunned MP before the BKB came out. And because of that, I think all he wants to do is kill off the creep wave and make them look behind each other. Mid one, wonderful slide dodge will come back up to his spirit just north of the Roshan pit. And they're TPing in. Yeah, you got another five seconds or so until Roshan's up. In fact, make it one second. The orb, it doesn't give enough vision, or does it? No, it didn't actually see deep enough inside the pit to see Roshan, but the Pop smoke, smoke is out from EG. Five man smoke up. Puppy will need be nearby. He He'll it. break all of the smokes with the observer. He sees everything but the silence. They're jumping around EG. They really want to bring down Puppy. No more overgrowth for him. The side of fist searing chains catches up both Samael as well as Zai. But there's no follow through. In fact, it's going to be MP jumping on the front lines, battling up against the BKB. Up Artizi, but the dream call and the rock team secret. You're going all the way down to the depths of hell when that fatal bond will connect you. You're all sewed up by the upheaval. No one can reach crit, and I don't think anyone can reach a hopeful point here for team secret. If they lose everything here, they'll lose Roshan, they'll lose Arax. A double kill for Samael and team secret. That was meant to be their big opportunity to get back into this game. Contesting EG at Roshan, and it fails horrendously. Streaming down to the pockets of EG. Geniuses. It's not like they've got enough money in that organization already. EG will knock on the top door. And this is it for Team Secret. They have to defend this. MP is still moving over. His eight second BKB is going to do some work, but when those orbs from Samael are able to connect, actually not getting that much. He's only got four intel stolen at the beginning of this fight. They seal him up, Dro Ranger, they four staff it up as well. Dream Call out from Universe. Epicenter from Zai still available. Thought he's gonna do it when he borrowed strike in, but the overgrowth. It's good from Puppy. But down drops the rock. It's the male who's just standing at Scram. Remember, he's got the BKB for giving him protection. The second life from the Aegis of the Immortal. But you don't want to be expending this one until you find something bigger. And maybe the kill on mid one. That's something bigger.
brought him down, dropped the ulti. OD will commit it while he's still got the intelligence to work with. MP living armor is allowing him to survive, but Samail still so low. The attack from Yamsor won't be enough, but caught too far in the front lines. It's mid one. Here comes Sai. Fire strike forward. Living armor again. It's helping MP survive, but Arteezy way too much damage. They just keep forcing the issue against Team Secret. And they're not playing for the late game. They're trying to end it right now because they have a giant advantage. And I wouldn't even be surprised GG. GG. There it is. EG just having a little bit of a rough early game and then all of a sudden getting into this momentum swing where there was nothing Secret can do. And it's just based on things drafted, not just for the lanes, but also to have really good matchups later. And it paid off big time just because they shut down the right heroes. Yep. I'm, I'm still going to look down towards that bottom lane.